We rehearse six hours a day, six days a week before the New York Spectacular, so it's a very rigorous process. It's been my life, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. The Radio City Christmas Spectacular is emblematic of winter in New York City, and anyone who's seen it will tell you that the high-kicking stars of its show, the Rockettes, are holiday mascots in their own right. But what goes into those perfectly synchronized steps, which have been an American tradition since 1933? intense rehearsals required. The Radio City Rockettes are known for their flawless performances. These performers have been referred to as athletes dripping in diamonds, and for good reason. In the six weeks before their famous Christmas Spectacular show at Radio City Music Hall, the dancers spend six hours a day rehearsing for six days a week. In that time, they are tirelessly practicing those sharp arms, perfect kicks, and shiny smiles. One Rockette, Alyssa Laverne, refers to these rehearsals as intense, and added, it's so we get that choreo choreography so engraved in our bodies that we're comfortable with it when we get on stage. It's important that these dancers work hard so they can perform effortless looking shows, sometimes up to four of them a day. Precision. The Rockettes are one of the only dance companies in America where this level of intense precision is an absolute priority. Creative director Karen Keeler says, Everything you see is detailed out to how high your arm is, where your cheek is, where your eyes are looking. Every move you make is mapped out on the stage to create a perfect pattern. For each member of the Rockettes to learn precisely how to hit her marks, choreographers assign a grid-like system of labels to the stage. That's also why they have those grueling six weeks of rehearsals we mentioned. Stay in shape. Rockettes are known for their uniformity and athletic bodies, which means they are under constant pressure to keep their bodies in tip-top shape. That includes maintaining a certain weight. Rockettes will get placed on a list if they fall under their weight and fitness requirements, receive written warnings, and, if they don't meet the intense Rockette standard, get suspended. So basically, rehearsals and performances are how the Rockettes stay in shape during the holiday season, but in their off time, Rockettes are responsible for their own diet and workouts. The Rockettes all use different styles of fitness classes to stay active, like bar classes, cycling, running, Pilates, and yoga. These dancers are athletes after all, and sometimes they're doing these workouts in heels. No shorter than 5 foot 6 inches. Try not to let this break your spirits, shorter ladies. You've gotta be tall to be a Rockette. To create their perfect uniformity, the Rockettes have to be within a certain height range. Dancers actually range from 5 foot 6 to 5 foot 10 and a half, a standard that's strictly enforced by measuring them without shoes and with their hair pushed down. For their famous kick lines, the Rockettes create an optical illusion by positioning the tallest woman in the middle and the shorter women out towards the ends. Re-audition every year. Over 500 women line up to audition for the Rockettes every year, and the competition doesn't end even once they're in. Dancers must prove themselves annually by re-auditioning to keep their spots. And Rockette hopefuls come back time and time again. How many times did the determined Laterica Pierce audition for the Rockettes? Ten! Since 2014, Laterica has auditioned both during the Rockettes summer intensives and during their open call auditions. The last five tries, she made it through all three rounds of cuts. Thankfully, 2019 was finally her year. Offstage precision required. Imagine 36 women in each show and 80 women in the entire cast, all trying to fit into one dressing room. There's literally no room for messing around backstage. With all of the Rockettes changing, warming up, and up to 100 stagehands around, precision is key to keeping the show on track. One Rockette, Sophie Holloway, says that the routines don't stop once they exit the stage. Sophie also says they walk off stage behind the same girl to the same spot every time to keep the show running perfectly down to the minute. She even knows the exact moment to put in her earrings thanks to a certain lyrical cue in the music. Smile! The word that comes to mind when watching a Rockettes performance is effortless. This is why the Rockettes famously smile throughout all of their performances. Just one unpleasant facial expression during a show can ruin the performance. The trick to that effortless smile, according to the Rockettes blog, relax your jaw and your tongue inside your mouth, lift those eyebrows, and breathe through your nose. About those kicks. We can't talk about the Rockettes without bringing up their iconic kicks. These dancers are performing 300 kicks per show, sometimes four shows a day. That's 1,200 kicks a day. And these kicks are precise. There are strut kicks where your leg must be straight out in front, kicked up to your belly button, and just slightly crossed over your hip. Then there's circle kicks where they perform their kick line but moving rotating in a circle on stage. The more popular eye-high kicks are called that for a reason. This 
requires a very straight leg where your toe lines up with your eye line. In those kick lines, the dancers aren't actually allowed to link arms, even though it looks like they're touching. The dancers must hover gently, engaging their core strength, and lightly touch fabric on each other's costumes. Actually holding onto one another could lead you to knock the kick line out of sync. Learn the terminology. As you probably know by now, the Rockettes are known for their perfection, which requires demanding and precise training almost like a boot camp. That means these dancers have to speak the language of a Rockette. It's a combination of dance instructions and military terms to master that iconic Rockette exactness. Using regular dance terms such as passe and relevé are mixed in with military terms such as about face for those perfect 180 degree turns. Then there's terms that only the Rockettes use such as sunshine head which refers to their heads slightly tilted back as if sunshine was streaming down their faces. Don't miss your call time. Did we mention that the Rockettes are all about precision? Well, the staff at Radio City Music Hall have to also keep everything to a strict schedule to maintain that reputation of perfection. This means that call times for the dancers are extremely strict. There are 80 Rockettes per season, but only 36 in each show. Some dancers are in both the morning shows and the evening shows, requiring intense call times with little to no breaks in between. Some of the daytime cast members get up as early as 6 a.m. to have enough time to get to Radio City Music Hall. Keep your own costumes organized. Once the final curtain goes down, it's heels off and flats on. One Rockette, Alicia Lundgren says, after the show we run upstairs, hang up our costumes ourselves, take a rest, and hydrate. That's eight different costumes with eight different pairs of shoes and eight headpieces that these girls have to keep track of. Help with the 78 second quick change. Of all the costume changes during the show, the one that comes after Parade of the Wooden Soldiers is the fastest. The dancers have just 78 seconds to get out of this cumbersome look and into their next outfit. The number ends with the Rockettes all falling backward onto one another and they use that time wisely, helping the dancer in front of them unzip their costume as soon as the curtain drops. The dancers also have to fit shoe, hat, and earring changes into those 78 seconds and quickly remove the red felt circles that they adhere to their cheeks with double stick tape during the toy soldier number. There is no room for error here. The iconic French twist. Neat and tidy hair is an absolute must for the Rockettes, so they usually stick to one hairstyle that has become an iconic look for the brand, a French twist. The dancers claim that dirty hair is best. It must be perfectly pinned to keep all hair in place and so that all of their headpieces will go on and stay on. Any hair out of place will ruin their uniform look. No haircuts mid-season. Because of those French twists, the girls have a rule for their hair. No haircuts. There is a science involved with all of those hats and wigs. Miley McAfee explained that since the hats are customized to the specific size of a dancer's hair, none of them would fit if she, say, got a haircut midway through the seasons. Teach the summer intensive. It may seem like the Rockettes only work during the holiday season, but they're also required to help teach the Rockette summer intensive, which runs from June to August. The Rockettes give up parts of their summer to teach hopeful dancers the skills they need to possibly become one of the famous Radio City dancers. Be prepared to be on camera. When they're not rehearsing for their Christmas spectacular, teaching the summer intensive, or working out, the Rockettes also have to be prepared to be the face of the brand. The dancers take turns doing various promotional appearances all year long to keep people excited about the show. This means you have to be prepared to be on the news, film promotional videos for Radio City Music Hall, and be filmed in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. There are very few breaks for the Rockettes. Wear all black for rehearsals. To maintain their uniformity when cameras are there to film promotional material from their rehearsals, Rockettes are required to wear all black. Black leggings, leotards, and tank tops keep them looking sharp and similar. Oh, and of course, heels. Be prepared for change. While some routines haven't changed since 1933, a lot of things for these dancers will shift with each passing year. With new girls coming in every year and new shows being put together, you have to be adaptable as a Rockette. This also means that those famous kick lines will change based on new dancers of different heights to maintain the visual illusion. Dancers can't get too comfortable with who they stand next to in those lines as it's always changing. Clean nails always. The Rockette's perfection goes from head to toe and even to their fingertips. These ladies keep every part of their beauty routine clean, simple, and classic, and nails are no exception. Many of the dancers get classic colors such as red or nude, and almost all of them get gels. With a total of seven outfit changes during the show and sometimes as little as 80 seconds to execute the change, they get destroyed otherwise. Lip, liner, and lash. 
Nope, these dancers don't have their own makeup artists backstage. They are required to do their makeup on their own. So what kind of looks are these dancers allowed to wear? One Rockette, Emily King, says the rule of thumb for a Rockette is a lip, a liner, and a lash. The Rockette look is a simple dark eyeliner, bold false eyelashes, and a classic red lip. Think you have what it takes to be a Rockette now knowing these rules? Let us know what you found most surprising to you in the comments below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more, and thanks for stopping by The Taco.